The unthinkable, caught on camera through the storm, at first glance, as though a piece of the world had fallen away. The horror of those watching unmistakable as it became clear that in fact a section of the bridge had collapsed. Taking with it a stretch of the road, the vehicles on it tumbling into the valley some 45 meters below. Rescue workers rushing to the scene were dwarfed by great slabs of concrete, stone giants to be climbed in search of survivors. Sniffer dogs were brought in and long cranes, winching stretchers and aid workers through the air. Genoa's Morandi Bridge carried a major artery right through the city, the highway linking southern France to the Italian Riviera. Its collapse narrowly missed a community below, landing on rail tracks and part of a warehouse. Today, when I heard a bang, I thought of an earthquake, says this man. I heard people screaming and I went out to see what happened. The bridge was built in the 1960s, a marvel of its time. This man says he worked on it. For seven years, he says, now I live under the bridge. I help build it, and now it destroys my house. Questions about Italy's crumbling infrastructure are now swirling. The deputy prime minister, Matteo Salvini, pledging to hold the highway operators to account. I will do everything to get the names and surnames of the past and present managers, he said, because it is unacceptable to die like that in Italy. The task of recovering the dead, like the rescue operation, has been painstaking. From the information in our possession, says this official, 30 cars and some heavy vehicles were driving on the span of the bridge that collapsed. Some drivers clearly had a very close call, abandoning their vehicles on the edge of the abyss. Margaret Evans, CBC News, London. As Margaret mentioned, the Morandi Bridge was hailed as a masterpiece of engineering when it was first built. At just over a kilometer long, the bridge featured on the cover of the Italian Sunday Courier in 1964, the year construction began, but it required extensive maintenance throughout the years. In fact, work to shore up its foundations was underway when the bridge collapsed. It was about 11.30 this morning local time when a section 200 meters long crumbled during a heavy rainstorm. Just two years ago, a University of Genoa engineering professor said maintenance costs for the bridge were so exorbitant, it would just be cheaper to build a new one. Now, we should say Italy has a good infrastructure record by global standards, but if you measure against other EU countries, it's not doing as well, due to underfunding and some suspected corruption. Italy has been a nation of bridge builders since Roman times, but lately there have been problems. Since 2004, at least 12 bridges and overpasses have collapsed in Italy. One of the most notorious cases was in Palermo, Sicily in 2015, when a brand new viaduct collapsed within days of opening. Now, nobody died in that incident, but public outrage was swift. Not surprising considering another Sicilian bridge had collapsed the year before with three cars on it. So what's behind this? Well, a decade ago, Italy was one of the EU's top spenders on roadway infrastructure, second only to France. But the global financial crisis hit the country hard. Already carrying a tremendous amount of national debt, Italy just cut infrastructure spending right to the bone from some 14 billion euros in 2008 to less than four billion just two years later. Slowly, it's been ticking back up since then, but it's still below the EU average. And then there's another problem. Mafia-owned companies are believed to have largely taken over the cement and reconstruction industries, raising fears of poor quality concrete, dodgy workmanship, and paying inspectors to just look the other way. 